Taking a quick look at this new ABOX 7200. You know, if you've wanted a home backup power station that can really power big loads for quite a long time, and you don't want to have to deal with a bunch of expansion batteries and hook, hooking those things up and the cables, you know, and are they going to communicate? No, you just want one unit to do it all. And literally to do, <laughs> literally to do it all. Yeah, you might want to take a look at this thing. 97 hundred watt hours <laughs> almost 10 kilowatt hours in this one box and it is lfp it is lfp and it's got this like really nice industrial grade design to it actually when i first saw this thing i thought this is some kind of you know another one of these unknown brand no name companies but it actually seems you know quite well thought out here so yeah all metal you know the metal handles Actually, it's an interesting design. These things kind of like flip up. Uh, you know, so it's super simple, right? It's not going to break on you. It's not going to fail. And yeah, it's going to be very... In fact, you know, they kind of advertise this really for like, you know, emergency situations, commercial use, you know, this kind of stuff. You know, of course, of course you can use this, you know, for home backup as well. And in fact... If you wanted to really get crazy here, they do have expansion batteries as well. So, you know, they give all the, all the specs, all the info here on this thing, but they, they seem to have forgotten to mention the weight. So, yeah, I didn't, you know, 10 kilowatt hours, LFP, all metal construction. <laughs> hey, I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be quite heavy, isn't it? So, yeah, the, take your best guess. You know, let me know in the comments. What do you think this thing weighs? What do you think it weighs? <laughs> it's got to weigh an awful lot, doesn't it? Now, they've kind of thought about this, though. You know, there's all these handles. This one here that runs across the entire side on both sides, in fact. You know, up here as well. In the back, there's one. You know, so obviously this thing was designed to be, you know, like a team lift type of thing. You know, two, maybe even three guy, guys on this thing, right, to, to lift it, to move it. Now, once it's on the ground, of course, you had these handles. This is kind of an interesting design, isn't it? That they kind of just hang down, you know, when they're not in use. And there's even, you know, these hooks on top. So yeah, if you wanted to hoist, <laughs> if you if you needed to hoist this thing up, yeah, you can do that as well. And I just love all these like exposed screws, right? I mean, it's, it's a cool looking product, even on the you know for the fans here. This part is just like screwed on there, right? So, yeah, they definitely nailed that aspect of it. And it is nice that you can at least roll this thing around. Now, to get back to the name here, 7200, yeah, that's, you know, the output. Maximum output here is 7200 watts. And they say this is dual phase. I don't know what that is. Anyways, you know, they claim it can do 120 volts and 240 volts, in fact, simultaneously. So, now this is interesting because, well, let's talk about the 120 first. Uh, you know, what's actually quite good is that if you actually use all four of these 20 amp outlets right here, you can actually do 7,200 watts on 120. You got to use all four of those. So, that's, that's actually quite good, isn't it? You don't have to use 240 volts to actually hit that 7,200 watts. Now, to talk about the 240 volts, it's kind of weird here because, yeah, we do have, you know, the 1450 and the 1430 outlets here. And down here, they do say that they can actually do either 120 volts or 240 volts. But there's doesn't look like there's any switch. So I wonder how do you control that? Is it in the app? Maybe it is. There is an app. I don't know. So, yeah, that's kind of a question mark. And, and again, they say that you can do 120 and 240 at the same time. So, yeah, it's kind of, I don't know. Hopefully they got this all figured out. I mean, I do like that they kind of given these instructions here, you know, like, you know, what you can do with each of these ports, especially if you do different combinations. But, yeah, still, I, you know, I just wonder, maybe those should have just been 240 I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think about that? And then, you know, for other stuff, DC stuff, there is a USB. 
some decent powered, you know, you can get 100 watts out of that USB-C, a couple other ones there as well. Now, one thing to note, there's no 12 volts. There's no 12 volts on this thing at all. So you're basically using this for the inverter, aren't you? I mean, this something this big, this size, you know, <laughs> you can get another little little tiny power station, right? If you want 12 volt, just get another one. Now for the charging on this thing, you know, from AC from grid power 120 volts, yeah, you can do the, you know the typical 1800 watts max. Now if you want to charge it up faster and you have 240 volt power, this thing will take. 5,000 watts so that is nice you know if you have that ability now for solar it's actually pretty good here I'm actually surprised you know again we haven't seen a lot of products from this company before but they seem to have done the research here so there's actually two inputs dual input right there's a high voltage and the low voltage input the low voltage can actually do up to 55 volts and 1200 watts so not bad you know for the low voltage inputs now the high voltage input is actually quite good here how about 450 volts and 2500 watts so yeah you know i imagine you can combine those as well and this high voltage input does have the mc4 inputs the direct you know direct mc4 with the switch right with the switch built in which is always a good idea when you're dealing with such huge amount of power and high voltage right you don't want to you don't want to hook that up you know live right you can turn that switch off make your connections and then turn the switch on and the last thing worth mentioning is this ubs less than 10 milliseconds switchover that's what they say so yeah, this has got all like really good specs on this thing, doesn't it? Really good specs, really nice design. You know, yeah, one box that can kind of do everything. As long, hey, as long as you can move it.